There we go. Put another burner bag on it. <laughs> the psyche soap, y'all. Doing what we've all been doing since the dawn of man. Since the dawn of mankind. We hunted for our kill. We fished for our kill. And we grilled our kill for real. Just like this. <laughs> you see that? Right on. Oh, yeah. Let's get into the shit now. <laughs> All right. Now, this something came to my attention over the past week and all, and um, some of uh, my high-minded, you know, MGTOW elders, brothers in this have pointed this out, and some that were, you know, Red Pill described it correctly. They, they've had better uh, ways of describing it. They've covered it. I, I, I'm not the first damn show, not the last, right? But um, I want to tell y'all about chameleons and what these people are to me. These chameleons that happen to dabble in metal and try to speak on this thing of ours don't know shit, okay? Especially when they're clout chasing off of it. I noticed the clout chase. The lips were too puckered up to kiss a lot of male ass. And a lot of y'all brothers went for it like idiots. Now, some of my high-minded elders won't call you on that. Some of them are apologizing, but I won't. Fuck that. For those types of guys, I'm gonna let experience be your best teacher. And I got a separate video for simps later on. But back to this chameleon though. They're, they come in many stripes. I've seen them out there. But here's how I, Psyche Soap, can spot a chameleon. If she, A, refers to MGTOW as a movement when it's an individual's philosophy. B, has a subscriber count but was never challenged or had any community guidelines strikes, or see, has never been challenged by media sources, or, or media has never interviewed or challenged them directly, and they've taken slings and arrows from it. That's a chameleon to me. Most are traditional. Most of, the, most of them are of the traditionalist mindset. Now, Nawaltz, yeah, they're about as rare as unicorns. You and I both know that. We're MGTOW. You know how this works, bro. But when I seen this female, she was overly fucking made up. I mean, goddamn, she could have did a better job on the lighting and shit on her face. I mean, shit, she was just shining and shit for the whole world to see. And I'm looking at this shit, and I'm like, hey, dude, hey, hey. Don't get me wrong, I, I like fem I'm attracted to females of every stripe and flavor. But this particular one was like, dude, this is synthetic as fuck. Ain't nothing natural about it. You know? Oh, and, and this was this particular one I'm talking to about, excuse me, the one I'm talking about is lighter than me. And a lot of them be faking the fucking funk. Oh my god. And I do see some of them in real life, by the way, you know, and there's a few of them out here on YouTube doing their thing. These bitches have never been challenged by the media. They've never got faced demonetization. They've never faced the slings and arrows that comes with being a MGTOW on YouTube or getting deplatformed de or anything like that. They've never been demonetized either, let alone deplatformed. They've never faced any of that shit. Never went through any of that shit. No. No thanks. Now you may join into the men's rights camp. I have no problem with that. You know, um, Karen Strong does a really good job of that. Helen Smith does a really good job of that. She faced slings and arrows through the news media. Karen Strong faced slings and arrows on YouTube as well as the news media. 
You know what I mean? And, and faces slings and arrows in court. Diana Davison, that's a good one. But if I didn't call your fucking name out, chances are you are a fucking chameleon. Now, the best you can do to avoid this chameleon shit is to do it for yourself, not dick and attention. <laughs> like Tommy Sotomayor be saying, right? Pick that one up, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right? So, you know, do this not for attention and or dick. Somebody's fucking wallet. Because that's all the bitches are. That's all these bitches is doing, looking for pet wallets. Now, don't get me wrong. I don't mind if a female red pill somebody, but they need to red pill themselves, females. And here's another thing. And this is for a lot of you female men's rights activists that claim you're doing it right. How many rights do y'all have as females as opposed to us guys as males? And would you take a bullet for someone you, some male that isn't your child out in the real world? Even if you were a cop, I think not. So they're over there selling you the fucking snake oil. And um, this is something, mm -mm, Psyche Soap don't play that. What the fuck you thought was going to happen? And, and, and you thirsty cucks, you get one too. I'm going to get your ass too, you know. But I'm going to let these chameleons have their whooping in this one. Fuck ass bitches. Anyway, I'm going to be cool. I mean, if you over here, you know, it's cool to tell folks about MGTOW, but no, we are not a movement. We're a community. Yes, it's an individual's philosophy. Hey, yo, if I were to take my last breath right now in this recording, the one thing I want on my mind and heart is that I went on my own way. Peace.